The protest is in reaction to Namibia Star Sprint runners Christine Boma and Beatrice Masilingis Ben from competing in the women's 400 meter race at the Tokyo Games. More disappointing is the way in which the rule was enforced and communicated to the athletes ahead of the global showpiece. Masilingi had just clocked her personal best of 22.6 seconds in 200 meters when the news of her band started circulating on social media first before any official communication through their coach, Hank Bota. I just saw on social media that something like that was uh, ruled and um, I didn't actually uh, consider it because I thought it was just a rumor. But uh, my coach called me earlier on and told me it is true. But um, to be honest, it didn't really affect me, but I wasn't happy about it. For the fast as lightning 18-year-old Boma, being barred from competing in the 400 meters has shattered her dreams. You know, like my dream is to run 400 meters in the Olympic. Uh, it was bad. I, I, was, I was feeling bad. I didn't feel good. I was even shocked when I heard the news. President Hage Gengop has described the rule by the World Athletics as unfair as it discriminates against those born with naturally high testosterone levels and are able to run faster. Honestly, we must still not just sit down, as you said. We must protest. That's very unfair, but we don't interrupt the situation now. So we must go, but we are going to fight on. There is discrimination when they see people are doing well to bring in all kinds of things. We are made that way. Huh? Sports Minister Agnes Shongarero says government has started lobbying other African countries for support to protest the rule at world bodies like the UN. Masilingi and Boma's fight now joins those of South Africa's Casta Semenya, Kenya's Makred Wambui and others protesting the World Athletics decision. So we'll not fight it, but protest it on the side of, as a human being, I have been born like this, and all of a sudden some <clears throat> somebody's got a problem with that. Is it not inflicting on my human rights? Is it on, also not inflicting on the children's rights? Because these kids are still very, very, very young. So that's the one side. The other side is the medical side. Because we never were given anything to say, this is, these are the results. And what about these all, let's say, like the all tall Americans in basketball? Are they being tested? And is there something to say they must be given something to become shorter? That, those are the two levels on which we are going to, 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 to protest. And for the side of the medical side, we must have lawyers. And we are, we are going to go through our attorney general to get state attorneys who can help us in this with the medical team. The World Athletics recommends that runners with naturally high testosterone levels reduce them through a six-month medical program if they wish to compete. Blanche Coreses, NBC News.